Something a bit different today, I've got the Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi Extender 2 in for testing and I bought this on eBay just to have a look at it, see whether it's any good and I could also use a Wi-Fi extender myself. So the packaging on this, very simple, you've just got a QR code, very basic instructions printed on it and at the bottom just some specifications on the unit. It's quite a compact size this particular one and it's just powered via the USB port. So this particular version is the English version. There are a couple of different ones around and the packaging inside, just pull it out and you'll see the extender here. It's just plastic on the outside and it's actually quite decent build quality. The plastics are quite thick. Now turn it over, you've got a reset hole and the LED status indicator light. And I'll show you a little bit more about that later on. It's quite a simple unit to operate. And just pull off the protective cap there's the usb port and this has a swivel action on it so you can turn it around pick up a slightly better signal if you want it stays in place fairly well so nothing too dramatic on this very simple device but what we're really looking for is see whether this actually works well i've heard good things about it so we're going to do some tests later on so we just scan the qr code and that takes you to the app to download get that off the place so it has pretty mixed reviews on this and I'll get into that in a second why that might be but you do have to register an account um, a me account so um, go through that you can use your phone or an email or Facebook now obviously I'm in Europe so I picked Europe recommended and that's when the problem started so what I tried to do was get the app to pair up with the extender and searching for the device I just registered for the account now I couldn't find it at all so the problem was it's just not picking it up even with an automatic search and then I decided to go in and try and do a manual search for it as well now you're going to see on the screen that the device just isn't listed so this is pretty strange didn't really understand what was going on there they have other me products there but not the Wi-Fi extender so what I ended up doing was changing the location from Europe to Hong Kong and then you'll see the repeater um, shows up and it also shows in the automatic scanning as well so I have no idea why that is I think Xiaomi need to really fix that because this is sold globally so it does um, pair up once you've changed the region so bear that in mind if you're having problems just switch the region and it will show up there's the reset that you can push and hold that in for a second and then you'll see the uh, amber LED go static and then it will start flashing again once it's fully reset. You can also do that to disconnect from the current device. So what you need to do is then put your router's password in. Then it will pair up to the extender and then put the settings onto that because you're going through this as an extender and you'll see that once it's connected you'll have the blue LED come up and that remembers the settings even when it's powered off. So if you want to reset it just hit that button. You can also use it with things like drones and other devices. If I get a drone in in the next couple of weeks or in the future I'll do a test on that and it also gives you a bit of indication on your signal strength. So the idea with this is to put it somewhere where it's going to get still get a decent signal you see it come up here as the um, the plus same as my original router just added the plus so you want to put it where you get a decent signal and then um, at an edge of the field and then you'll be able to pick it up not in a place where it's really poor signal so you can see here I'm testing out now I've got a different extender it's a Corridi one that I have in the house and this one looks really good it's got three antennas and it works okay so it is speed test on the Corridi and I'm getting around about 16 megabits per second off of that particular one which I thought was okay but the Mi Wi-Fi repeater 2 got a much faster download speed and the upload speed was pretty similar as well so it really did quite a good job on that I was quite impressed and surprised so don't assume something looks better that it will perform better now I'm doing a test now I'm down the shed long distance away from the router and I can barely get a signal trying to run the speed test and sometimes it just won't work at all so what you want to do, as I said, is put the repeater in a location. I've put it in the kitchen, so I'm still getting some signal and it's reaching down the shed there. I'm getting fairly decent speeds considering the distance away that I am. So definitely a useful device. Doesn't use up a lot of power. I didn't see it go over 250 milliamps in total draw, so any USB port will do for this. 
only criticism I have is the app. That's kind of silly that they made the app and it doesn't show the device up. So if you're having problems, just switch the region and everything works fine. So they really need to get onto that and fix that. But it's really cheap and it actually works quite well. So I definitely would recommend that despite the app problems.